And now, your first alert five weather. Well, good evening and thanks for joining us here at News 5. Taking a look downtown Colorado Springs, we'll call this the calm before the storm. Starting off the night with some chilly temperatures, 37 degrees right now, though it does feel like 31 light winds as of right now. But we're tracking this storm system that's off to our west right now. We are starting to get some cloud cover from this system moving in, but big changes are on the way. So this is what the overall picture of our upper atmosphere is looking like. So this trough is digging down and bringing in all of that cold air. And as we track forward going into Sunday morning and into Sunday evening, that will continue to shift over towards the state. And that is what's going to be bringing us those cooler temperatures, more moisture and some snow that we're going to see. So let's break this down a little bit further. So once we get into Monday, that's when we're going to start to see those uh, storm chances pick up. And then by Monday around that 5 p.m. hour, that's when we should start to be wrapping up in terms of the snow that we're going to see. So watches and warnings right now, winter weather advisory, that's going to expire at 2 p.m. on Monday. This is going to include Teller County and parts of Pikes Peak. Now we do have a winter storm watch to the south of us here, and that's going to include the wet mountains. And we'll start to see some more snow totals uh, for them as we go into Monday as well. Future cast is going to look like this, so not a whole lot going on right now, but going into Sunday, we'll start to see some widespread snow showers across the higher terrain and then going into Sunday evening. As you can see, we're going to start to pick up even more snow for the higher terrain, finally making its way into Teller County, Woodland Park. You guys will start seeing it then. We could see a little bit of rain and then it will transition over to some more snow. But as you can see, this is going to be a widespread event. Most of I-25 will be included in this. This is going into Monday morning, so this will impact your commute going into Monday. So take that into consideration. You might want to leave a little bit earlier if you have anywhere you need to go Monday morning. By Tuesday, though, we should be completely clear. So Tuesday is looking good for Election Day. So that is some good news. As of snow totals, this is what we're looking at right now. So for Colorado Springs, where I'm going to say about a trace to two inches of snow, a little bit more for the Palmer Divide. Uh, Woodland Park about four to eight inches and then going down south towards Walsenburg and Trinidad. We'll see some more snow totals down there, but once we get to Pueblo, we're only going to see around a trace just because you guys are at a little bit of a lower elevation than the rest of us. This is what the Pikes Peak region is looking like, breaking this down even further. We'll see about a two to five inches for Black Forest, around a trace to two inches around Powers, Briargate area one to three and then two to four around the Air Force Academy. As for Election Day, though, that storm system will make its way out in time for you to go out to those poles. We'll have some dry, sunny skies, so it will be a good day and it will warm up. Tonight, though, we'll get back down into those 30s. Tomorrow, 50s are expected, 60s for Pueblo. As for the next seven days, 56 for your Sunday. Looking at Tuesday, just a little closer, Election Day. We'll start off colder around that freezing mark, eventually warming into those 50s. Pueblo 64 for your Sunday, 55 for Election Day. Again, dry and sunny for you guys as well. Canyon City 59 for your Sunday. We'll have more of that rain snow mix for you guys going into Monday. So we won't have as much accumulation for you guys. And then we're also tracking another storm system coming at the end of the week, which could bring some snow for Woodland Park as well. So Wednesday, notice how cold it's going to be. I have 28 as a high for you guys. So. We're ha having two systems come through. One is going to start for you guys on Sunday evening, going into Monday, and then we'll have that second system come through on Wednesday.